Hi, welcome to my two week update. Um, I had my surgery, which was removing my lap band and getting converted to a gastric sleeve on May 4th. Today is May 18th, and that makes me two weeks post op. And I wanted to um, basically start out by going over my stats because somebody commented that I hadn't mentioned my stats as far as my weight is concerned. So here's my little discharge paper from when I left the hospital. So when they weighed me that day at the hospital, um, they did it in kilograms, so I had to convert it. The kilograms was 132.45 kilograms. I converted that with Google, and that um, equals 292 pounds. So the day of surgery, I was 292 pounds. That's huge. That's my highest weight ever. And that's honestly because... Um, once I found out that um, I was approved for surgery, I mean, I kind of stopped working out. Um, the biggest reason for that was because I was just, um, my back was killing me, my feet were killing me. I was doing Zumba and I just, I couldn't hang. So I stopped working out and then I just pretty much started eating. I just started eating. I wasn't, I wasn't on no diet, I was just eating. And... I went all the way to 292. But anyway, I weighed myself this morning on my two week um, anniversary or whatever you want to say. And I'm 278 today. So that's what, 12 pounds? That's good. I mean, for somebody who hasn't, I haven't worked out yet. I just, you know, been going through this little booklet that my doctor's office gave me as far as telling me what I need to do on each day after surgery so as of day eight which was sometime last week i've been able to eat soft food and um i mean it gives me a, a sample list of like what's considered soft foods and that's canned fruit applesauce uh canned vegetables or well steamed vegetables mashed potatoes um i can have skinless steamed or poached fish scrambled eggs soft cheese Low fat yogurt, refried beans or smashed beans. I can have tuna from a can, chicken or salmon or ham from a can. And I can have soups. And it's okay to have chunks of meat and vegetables in your soup. Just chew them very well. So, um, I've kind of been struggling with this whole soft food thing. Yesterday I ate tuna. And honestly, it hurt. Like I could, you know, feel it going down and, you know, it hurt. So, I mean, I'm coming from a lap band, so I'm used to, you know, how that feels, you know, when something goes in, it kind of just kind of lingers in your throat. And I'm kind of still feeling that same sensation. And I'm not sure if it's because of the lap band, um, but the fluid had been out of that for a year before I had surgery and I had no restriction. But sometimes when I ate like, you know, white meat chicken, I would have to take my time because it still would kind of get hung up in there. So, um, right now, it's kind of hard to eat. Like, I really um, have to take my time. And part of me kind of wants to go back to full liquids because it was just a lot easier to just put some soup in a blender and just, you know, drink it. Um, so, yeah, right now, it's hard to eat. I'm just, you know, trying to learn my new stomach. Like, my whole body just seems like it's, it's, it's different from... Um, everything i mean my bathroom habits everything is just different and speaking of bathroom habits and this may be a little tmi but i've been constipated um the first day that i noticed it i took some uh those little pink pills called correct all which is a laxative and it made me go and i was fine but then i had noticed hey it's been it's been a few days and i haven't went to the restroom and it's like it's real like constipation like it's dry it's hard it's not trying to come out at all so my little book says if I get constipated I can take colates so I took two well I bought some colates I took what I took maybe one or I took maybe one or two when I first got it and then I went to the bathroom then a few days later like yesterday I'm like oh I haven't been in a while so I took one last night and then I woke up this morning and it was still hard to go so I ended up taking two this morning and gave it time to work through and then you know I went and it was okay 
I just gotta remember to, you know, I need to take them every day. So I gotta um, remember to do that. And what I was saying is I'm glad I decided to take three weeks off work because honestly, if I had to go to work right now, it would be hard for me because I'm still trying to figure this whole thing out. I'm still trying to figure out how to eat. I'm still trying to figure out how to make sure I'm going to the bathroom, you know, regularly without pain. And um, I'm, I'm learning. I mean, it's like I said, I feel like I'm a whole different person. Like my body is different now. And then I started taking vitamins um, on day eight. I started taking two calciums in the morning and then a multivitamin at noon, then two more calciums in the evening. I'm trying to get, you know, used to taking that on a regular basis. And then tomorrow, which is day 15, I have to start taking this Adagol. And Adagol is um, it's the medicine that will prevent gallstones from forming. Because when you start losing weight real quick, there's a chance that you could actually get gallstones. So I have to start taking these pills tomorrow. And I'm not really excited about that because, I mean, they're not big. But they're capsules, and I hate capsules. But I mean, I'm gonna do it because I don't want to get gallstones. I want to have to go back and get another surgery to get my gallbladder out. So I gotta start taking these tomorrow. And um, it's one capsule by mouth twice a day. So I gotta do this. I gotta do the calciums. I have to do the multivitamin. And then I'm also taking this. Um, I have to take. This on my list but it's like a pill that's supposed to prevent heartburn i take that every morning too and i've been good with that it's a prolistic well protonix is what i'm taking i have to take that for six months i also have to take the, those gallbladder uh pills for six months um so yeah and then also on day 15 which is tomorrow it says that it's okay to start light aerobic activity like biking, light weights, and swimming. So I can start working out tomorrow. Um, I did a little walking at the park the other day. I'm probably going to, you know, just start walking and try to put jog into it. So um, I think that'll help start getting some weight off. So, um, I mean, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, this morning for breakfast, I made two boiled eggs. Uh, I kind of made them like a devil egg or something. And this is what I have left. Like, I was eating and it just, it just feels weird. And it kind of hurts. And I just have to take my time and pay attention to how it's going down. And I get tired of eating. Like, I can, like, the other day I wanted some scrambled eggs. I made some scrambled eggs. I made two. Probably should have made one. But I made two, and I was eating them, and then after a few bites, I'm just like, I don't even want to eat them no more. Like, the, I lose my, um, I, I lose, like, you know how I wanted it, but then all of a sudden, I start eating, like, I don't want this no more. Like, I don't know. I just lose the, um, the want that I had before I started eating it. So, um. Yeah, I mean, I, I was drinking protein shakes. I actually need some more protein shakes. It looks like that's really what's going to have to get me through. I mean, like this little sample um, menu thing I have right here. And this, I'm supposed to do this from day 8 all the way through day 28. And they suggest that I have a protein shake first thing in the morning around 9 a.m. I eat three to four bites of protein by 11 o'clock three to four more bites of protein by one o'clock protein shake three o'clock three to four protein bites five o'clock three to four protein bites and then seven o'clock protein shake so i need to figure out what's going to be my protein bite um i don't know i guess i'm just going to have to figure out what works like the tuna hurt um i don't know i had refried beans I kind of had refried beans earlier than day eight. And I mean, I got tired of eating those. I may try to go back to those. Um, I don't know if string cheese is considered a protein bite. It's only the protein um, heading. So maybe. But um, I mean, yeah, that's where I am right now. Um, I don't have any pain. My uh, incisions are healing up pretty good. For a few days last week, I did have 
what I thought was a pain that was like just right under my breast area kind of felt like blockage I don't know what it was like I had to take a deep breath you know just to kind of I don't know I can't even explain my back was hurting um but it seems like after I took the stool softener it kind of went away so I don't know if that was some gas I don't know what it was but I'm glad it's gone but physically I'm feeling pretty good um internally I mean like this morning I was kind of feeling a little sick after that constipation thing I was feeling a little sick um but um I'm glad I got the lap band out. I'm glad I did this because I know it's going to put me in the position that I want to be in. Put me back in a healthy or put me in a healthy position. I start working out and reaching my fitness goals and just being the person that I want to be. So, um, you know, it's a journey. This is the beginning. I got a ways to go. I got to trust the process, slow down and um, just take it one day at a time. So um, that's pretty much it for now my two weeks um hopefully i can come back and make another video soon just kind of wanted to give an update on where i'm at and as far as my stats are concerned i'm five five i started out at 292 pounds today on my two weeks since surgery day i am 278 pounds my goal weight i've always said 180 but that could change just depending on what size I wear, how I feel in my body, things of that nature. So, we shall see. So, until next time, thank you for watching my videos. And if I can help anybody um, that makes me feel real good. You know, I watched a lot of videos on my way, you know, before I decided to go ahead and get my revision. And um, I appreciate all the help that I was able to find in this I can help somebody else you know that makes me feel real good so that's it I'll be back hopefully um I kind of I did want to comb my hair but then I don't I didn't feel like it like you know I just I'm still I'm still recovering you know and I'm just giving myself time to heal so maybe next time I'll look a little bit more presentable but it is what it is all right so next time I'm out